Okay, welcome to the Crow Discovery Project. Um, I've got a cool one here, the fiery orb that I shot through my telescope and caught by accident going towards chem planes is what I'm going to blow up here today since I now have a way to do that without total pixelation. So here we go. First off, I should mention uh, the cool thing that happened here just by chance was back then I was shooting at 60 frames per second, which is why the frame is smaller here. This is the plane I was trying to get the telescope on, and if you'll notice, the scope is not quite focused on this, which actually worked in my favor this day because the orb that shot through uh, my frame as I was swinging over to this thing was a bit closer than the plane, and so the orb is in focus. So here comes the first view. It's going to come from the left very quickly. And there it is. I got just over a second. This is slowed down 30% coming in on the left. And you can see he's got a real fiery look, but just by chance uh, he was in focus because he was closer. Now here's down to 15% and 350% zoom. And you can really get a sense he just looks like he's burning, kind of. So what I did is I pulled all the frames when he's moving upwards out of frame, he's blurry. So I pulled all the frames where he's not blurry, and I did extreme zoom on these and ran some filters to get a good look. So there it is. This is basically just contrast and brightness manipulated very heavily, and some levels are set. But you can kind of see the interior and the, the flamey edge on it with this view. And here it is, just slightly quicker at 30%. Now I'm running a find edge filter, and I will slow that down. And you can really see the structure with this view, because I also brought the color up after I did the find edge with levels. Here's a solarized inverted look. And I will slow that down right here. And zoom in a little bit more even. It's just a crazy, crazy thing that, you know, I caught surely by luck swinging the telescope over to a chem plane, which is very difficult to do, and just by chance the focus was not at basically infinity for the plane, um, which made this object in focus. And here's one last look at the orb from the original clip, unmanipulated, coming in on the left here at 15% speed. It's just a really interesting object, and you know, you got to wonder how many kinds of orbs there are. Um, do they all look like this? If I could get a telescope on them, I just don't know. At any rate, I threw an article up on the Examiner today. It's a very interesting article about how we've been manipulated with time and the calendar. Um, it's a cool thing to read. Uh, a lot of people aren't aware of this. There it is. Cheers.